Well, a few days ago we had posted, you know, a you know review of this particular therapist, and I use that with air quotes therapist. And she was trying to get on here and trying to tell black men that we need to go to therapy. And it's nothing wrong with saying that we need to go to therapy. But if you remember the original video, I mean, she was very, you know, rude, crude, um, vile toward the end of the video. Go talk to somebody. Go expand your emotional vocabulary so your life can be better. All right. Go in peace. <laughs> And a lot of people had a problem with that. And let's give the update to this particular video. Let's review it. Well, hello. It's your friendly neighborhood therapist who thought she could save these, but got her job terminated as a result. Story time? I think yes. Did you not? I posted a video on Monday telling men that their dusty behavior is only harming them and that they would benefit from emotional intelligence. And I did you not by Friday didn't have employment. All of this started with a Psychology Today article stating that men are lonelier than ever because they have no emotional skills. And I agreed and doubled down and told y'all that y'all lives would radically improve if you expanded the shit that came out your mouth. But instead of healing, y'all will do anything but that. Now, you didn't, that's not what you said. You said that we need to go to therapy so women could be treated a certain way. You didn't say we need to go to therapy as black men so we could, you know, fix some issues and problems. Like saying you was cussing every other five minutes, et cetera. So let's make sure that you, if you're going to tell a lie, make sure you, you know, you're telling, you know, the right way, right? <laughs> Come on now. Instead of being accountable, like, hey, this see me. Oh God, here we go with that accountable crap. How are you holding somebody accountable on a freaking internet video and you don't know the guys? How? Fellas, anytime that you hear them get on here talking about, I'm going to hold you accountable through a YouTube video, a TikTok video. How? You not even you don't even know me. You don't know nobody else. What you mean you holding somebody accountable? You're just talking to hear yourself talk. I stirred a little bit. Y'all got so hurt. So hurt that you contacted Massa. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. So first the post goes viral. Who is Massa? Who who is he? Who is Massa? I know what you're referring to, but you didn't give no specifics. I mean, you say you got fired, so you can tell it, right? Who is Massa? But but let's continue this. On Twitter. Cause y'all need help. And y'all wanted to argue with blue until they blew in the face. Some of you is not gonna be saved. And that's and you're not going to be saved either. Look at the way you talk. Listen to your mouth. You need some saving. That's the conclusion that I've come to. So because it has gone viral, I'm thinking, okay, cool. We starting a discussion on mental health and people are, the, you might not like my delivery, but my is starting to talk, you know? Oh God. Every other word out this woman's mouth is mother effa, F this, F that, B this. And like, why it's like the more technology we receive, the dumber people are getting the tables. I don't give a f but then it turns into this entire crusade of attacking a black woman who serves the black community. No, it was attacking you. Don't start throwing black woman. Cause see when she say black woman, she's virtual signaling to black women in general. Okay. Don't start that. Your color thing. It was you. You the one put the video up. You the one said it. It wasn't all black women. Cause I know what you're doing when you say black woman. There were comments like, I'm gonna find her credentials and report her. Cause I told y'all to be better. Yeah, y'all are weird. Y'all scream that y'all want to protect women, protect black women specifically, but have done nothing to protect this black woman who has been serving the communities. I have been violated in several areas and I'm gonna outline each one. Okay, now. We reviewed the video. I would never say let's find her job, let's her credentials. I would never do that. I, I just say it don't go to her. And that would be the end of that. You know, if you don't have customers or whatever, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, some people out here, we live in this cancel culture society and she should have known that before she got on there. If you have a job that you got to protect, be careful what you post. Now, if you have your own business, then you got a little bit more freedom. This article was written by a black woman putting my full government and my place of employment. So being doxxed by a black woman can't fake kind of 
hurts and she never once reached out to me or contacted me so I could spend my side of the story. Well, you, you the way you would start this video off like black men did it, but a black woman did it. Your, your own sister in is out here. Put your stuff out. It wasn't even black men. Look, black men don't even get down like that. The worst you're going to get from black men is, 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 is comments, maybe some trolling, some videos, but black men don't organize to take no woman down. That's just not what we do. We just make our comments and move on. But it was a woman that put you out there. It was a woman. And you know why a woman did it? Because the comments I saw on Twitter about that video is that you are pissing off black women in your profession. And the way they felt was you was going to hurt their practices. You understand? Because they had black male clients and a lot of black men were pissed off. So it's interesting that a black woman put you out there and put your whole situation. And look, from what it sounded like, women did it. And probably women in your profession did it. Not even the men. This is the article that spooked my job and got me fired. A black woman did it to you. Not the brothers. Only thing the brothers did was make comments, make videos. I was one of them. That's it. Not only does she not have any regard for my safety, many other articles have been written as a result. Here are a few of them, just to name a few. Black Twitter has words for therapists scolding men to go to therapy. Y'all attacked me and got mad at me because I wanted better for y'all. That's the most crab in the barrel bucket type I've ever heard in my life. A plethora of black men decided to take it upon themselves to call my employment to get me fired. You succeeded. Prove it. Prove it. You just said a black woman put your information out there and it spooked your employer to fire you. Now you saying black men called you in a job. Which one is it? Which one? Like, like if you go, like say you, you paying attention to the lies you're telling. But you succeeded in not the way that you think. If it's one thing about black women is that we're incredibly resilient. This has cleared the table to give me space and opportunity to educate the masses while shaking our asses to healing because y'all got mad because I wanted you to do better. I was told they consulted with shareholders and decided to terminate my contract because I told y'all to go to therapy. That's the world we live in. Okay, all this lying. Listen, if you would have came on and say, Hey brothers, you know, I'm, I'm a therapist and I have a lot of, you know, clients and you know, we have a lot of brothers out here who are dealing with traumatic issues from their childhood. Um, just maybe some of the neighborhoods they be in society as a whole, you know, all of the, the, uh, things we have seen on TV, you know, we're constantly watching, um, death you know, of, of black men and that, that affects the psyche of black men. And so black men, you know, you, if you really need to, you really need to talk to somebody because you, you know, it, it helps. If she would have said something like that, she would still have a job and, and, and everything would be okay. But that's not how she came across. She's acting like she did it the way I just did it. Nobody would have said nothing bad about her. People would be like, okay, yeah, she, she, she right about that. I mean, I do need to think about things like that. So, so female, stop lying. You know what you said. And once again, a black woman is the one that wrote the article, exposed your information, spooked your job, went all the way up to the shareholders of the company, according to you, and they had to let you go. So black women got you fired. It wasn't black men. You have to accept that. But black women in your profession, in my opinion, was pissed off at you because you was going to hurt their professions by what you were doing. And they understood the propaganda that you was doing in that video and too many black men responded to it. So they said, hell no, let me go on and get her out the way. And that's what happened. Lesson learned. Watch your mouth. Speak with professionalism. If you're a so-called therapist, but y'all let me know you think about, you know, this, um, sister here. You know, uh, she, she blaming everybody but herself. Them words came out of your mouth, not nobody else's.